Adobe FrameMaker Feature Spotlight, out-of-the-box translation support. TechCom comes in all shapes, sizes, and especially languages. Because of this, the latest version of FrameMaker has built-in support for localization or translation workflows using the industry standard XLIF format. XLIF can help your translation vendor maximize their use of your translation memory in a computer-aided translation based on previous work, saving you time and money. Export to XLIF starts in the File menu, where you'll find Translation Export to XLIF 1.2. In the XLIF Export Settings dialog, you have options to fine-tune your output to meet the requirements of your localization service. You can customize the name and location of the output file, set the current language, and load existing settings if you already have them. There are three different sections in the MIF settings area. Here you have the option to include or omit a series of things that can impact the size and thus the cost of the final translation project. Structured files in general can be less expensive to translate due to the predictable nature of the content model itself. If you're working with structured files, here you have some structure-specific options that you can set as needed. And then, down in this area, are a few options to filter items that might not make sense after translation. There are quite a few options here, so if you'll be doing translations regularly, you'll want to save these settings where you can easily reload them next time. I haven't made any changes, so I'll go ahead and start the process by clicking on Export. If the files of your book are open, you may see them cycle through the screen during processing. And at the end of the export, you'll be presented with an XLIF conversion report panel. There were no errors in my export, so now I'm ready to send this file off to my vendor. Switching over to my export directory, here is both my zip file output and the HTML report that we just viewed inside of the conversion report panel. When you get files back from your vendor, it's easy to reverse the process and view your localized files. Use the File Translation Import XLIF function to open up your translated files back into FrameMaker. Identify your package file, set your output directory, and click Apply. My processing was successful. Because I processed my files into a directory that contained all of my graphics and other needed resources, my file is basically ready to go. Just some quick cleanup on my book numbering properties, and perhaps adding my German specific template so that I could get translated auto numbering properties, and I'm ready to deliver my localized files. Once you've established your XLIF translation workflow, you're ready for the next step, which is pre-segmenting your XLIF file. We've covered FrameMaker's ability to set up XLIF pre-segmentation in another related video. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.